Thanks for clicking on this video. Join us as we sail on Carnival Celebration for the second time out of Miami. We will make port stops in San Juan, St. Thomas, and Amber Cove. If you missed the first Carnival Celebration series, be sure to check it out on our channel and be sure to subscribe. But in the meantime, sit back and enjoy our boarding day adventures. Adventures. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'm here with part of the MH family crew. I have the kids with me. Joe Marie, Dice, and Andrew. And we are preparing to board Carnival Celebration for the second time. Now, my husband Ron, their dad Ron, could not make it on this cruise because he has to work. So, um, you guys leave a comment for him. He's at home working. Um, but we are gonna be boarding Carnival Celebration for the second time with my sister Cheryl, my nephew Jordan, um, as part of our hashtag Major Summer Vacay 2023 uh, series. So be sure to check out our previous Carnival Celebration series where we were on board for the US in Argo sailing. Um, but for now, we're gonna go down. We're here at our hotel. We are about to have breakfast and then we're headed to the port. Um, we just got off Carnival Sunrise yesterday, so be sure to check that series out as well. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, we're off to the port. That's because people are getting off the ship as we're about to get on. Um, so keep that in mind. That's why we like to arrive early to beat that massive crowd. But we are here about to check in. All right, here we are boarding Carnival Celebration for the second time. Super excited. I'm ready to eat, honestly. I didn't eat at the hotel. So I'm ready to grab some big shacks. That's what I'm looking forward to. Right behind us.
All right, here we are at the Lido Marketplace. This is the buffet. Now, as you see, it is pretty empty. Um, we try to make it routine to come here first thing after our mustard drill. That way we can find some air conditioned seats um, and beat the crowd. Um, absolutely love Sea Dogs. This is a new addition to Carnival Ships. It's on Mardi Gras um, celebration and it will also be on Jubilee, but absolutely love it. They have desserts, gelato, which I love on this ship. The coffee gelato, I highly recommend. But definitely check out the buffet as soon as you get on board. As you see, it's pretty empty. We were able to find um, nice seats to kind of sit back, stay out of the heat um, before we started exploring the ship. Also something to note, if you happen to have allergies or someone in your party has allergies, there is a stand in the buffet called Menu Mates. If you go there, one of the crew members will actually walk you around the buffet and show you what might have your allergen. So I highly recommend using that service if someone in your party has an allergy. All right, we are on board um, our mustard. Was y'all mustard uh, station ready? Mm -hmm. Ours wasn't, so they told us 15, 20 minutes to come back. Yeah, so um, you know how to get in the, in the thing, but you got in. Okay. okay. So, so yeah, we couldn't do our muster, but we're here. Um, one of the first at the buffet. Um, this jambalaya, if you saw Carnival Sunrise series, uh, the jambalaya is really good. And that's a new feature on Carnival's buffet. So I got some jambalaya. And of course, big shacks or big chicken. It is so good. Be sure you try that when you get on board. Um, it's one of our new favorites. I'm also going to send Dyson to Street Eats. Uh, Street Eats is a feature that has is it three or four little, three or four little restaurants or little bites or kiosks, whatever you want to call them, where you can get like, um, you can get like rice bowls, you can get uh, French fries, you can get, and they switch out the menu every day. So um, leave my. Leave my shack sauce alone. <laughs> He's trying to take my sauce. Right, right, right. I'm about to get some more. I'm about to get some more. He's not going to have mine. But yeah, so we're on board. We're going to eat, try to get to muster. And we're going to take it easy this cruise. Again, if you have, not, if you did not catch our Carnival Sunrise, Carnival Sunrise, I'm on the wrong ship. <laughs> Carnival Celebration. <laughs> cruise so much, y'all can't keep track. Carnival Celebration, if you did not catch that series back in November 2022, we were on board the U.S. and Argyle sailing. Be sure to check it out. This uh, series will not have like a full tour and all of that like I did on the last one, but I'll bring to you some different content. So be sure to continue watching, but right now we're gonna eat. So guys, something else that Carnival Celebration and Carnival Mardi Gras has that some of the other ships don't, well, I take that back. Horizon, that some of the other ships do, is they offer uh, free gelato. So you have the included soft serve ice cream, but they have gelato that they have during lunchtime. And this is coffee, this is one of my favorites. So the coffee and the mango, um, I highly recommend. So I'm gonna finish this off and just chill for a little bit. All right, starting to fill up a little bit. We're gonna try to get back to our mustard and hopefully they're ready. Um, but yeah, starting to fill up. All right, so we're in our cabin. Time to get it clean. Um, that we're gonna get unpacked because our suitcases are here bright and early. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. And as you see, we have a downgrade from our Carnival Sunrise series where we had that scenic ocean view. We had a small balcony. We're just gonna be in a standard interior cabin for this sailing. I know some of you guys are like, how in the world are four of you gonna fit in this cabin? But we are gonna fit and we're gonna make it work and it'll be just fine. As you see, the boys or actually Joe and Dice will sleep up top. Me and Drew down here. Um, it has plenty of outlets. Um, and like I said, we're really only in the cabin to use the restroom to sleep and shower. So not a big deal for us. We um, downgrade it just to save some money. So um, took advantage of that. And we're gonna go ahead and spray it down. All touchable areas, uh, linen, all that. Um, and then off to explore some, some of the celebration. Again, we've been on the ship. So not a whole lot of exploring to do, but we're gonna check some things out. All right, so if you don't know where you're going when you're on the ship, I always remember that deck, we're going to the Cloud Nine Spa 5-6. So yeah, so by each elevator bank, there is the map. And you can also check on the app as well. So we're headed to the spa. I'm just about getting a spa pass for this cruise. I really need it because my body is achy. Um, so we're gonna see about getting a spa pass.
How are you doing? Hello. Good. We are coming for. Will you be joining us this week? Yes, but not in the gym. Not in the gym. <laughs> not in the gym? No. Not in the gym. Not in the gym, but what we do here for you, we have a seminar taking place tomorrow. As you can see, we took a tour of Cloud9 Spa here on Carnival Celebration. This is probably one of my favorite spas on board a Carnival ship between Carnival Celebration and Carnival Mardi Gras. Absolutely love the thermal suite, so I highly recommend getting a, a spa cabin if you can. One thing to note here, this elevator, for those of you who require an elevator, it does not always work, so we did have an issue with that. But as you can see, there is a beauty salon, there's barber salon, you can get your nails done. Uh, and they have different treatment rooms here um, in the spa available for an upcharge. Now, if you go on the first day for a tour, you can get some special discounts as well as some sample uh, services like a sample massage or a sample facial. So definitely check that out. But the thermal suite is where we spent most of our time during this cruise. All right, check out this beautiful thermal suite. Now, a couple of tips, because there were quite a few times where we were able to enjoy this area and we were the only ones here. If you check it out during like a port day when people are in port, especially first thing, um, you'll be able to have it to yourself. Also, either first thing in the morning or later in the evening. Also around dinner time is a good time to go to the thermal spa. You will find that a lot of people are not there during that time. Obviously, sea days would be the days that, you know, it's really busy. Um, as of now, Carnival does not require like a reservation system, but I probably anticipate that happening here soon with the popularity of these thermal suites. All right, so we are signed up in the spa for the spa thermal pass. Keep in mind it is cheaper to book that online, um, but we did the seven day pass. And it's also cheaper if you do it, if you have two people to do it as a couple's pass. Um, but right now we're gonna go, Jim Marie wanted to go to the water splash, the kids splash area. So that's where we're headed. Um, then it'll be sail away. So we're just taking it easy this cruise. I'm gonna kick back, let her have some fun and I'm gonna relax. Virgin Voyages. If you didn't check out that vlog series, I did sail on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady. Comment down below. Let me know. Should I give it another try? I was not a huge fan of it, um, but maybe with the right people, I might like it. But there it is. Someone stuck on the roller coaster. I will not be getting out at this cruise. All right, Jim, I'm gonna sit here, okay? I'm not gonna film this sail away party, so be sure to go check back the sail away live stream. I am gonna do a live stream for this um, sailing, so check back soon.
we are headed to dinner. So we have Anytime Dining. So if you're on Celebration or Jubilee or any of the newer ships, um, Mardi Gras, um, some of them still offer the complimentary specialty dining, uh, but you have to have, you're so silly. You have to have Anytime Dining to check in right at 5.30. So we're checked in for Chibang, which is the Chinese Asian fusion. Um, I did dine there, Mardi Gras and Celebration. You should check out those vlogs. Um, but yeah, so we're all checked in, check in on the app and yes that wine is from carnival sunrise i didn't leave it in the cabin <laughs> so so have my wine for dinner we're off to dinner chebang all right we are here at chebang So again, Chibang is currently complimentary on board. Celebration, I think it's still complimentary on Mardi Gras. And if you're cruising on Jubilee, which we will be on board for the inaugural sailing of Jubilee as well, um, it is complimentary. You just have to check in on the app. Now, if you have early or late dining, they're gonna make you wait until like 7.30 or 8 o'clock to check in for these, these um, included options. Um, so you have Cucina, you have uh, Shebang, and then you also have Guy's Pig House, uh, Guy's, Guy's Pig and Anchor Smokehouse Brew House that is um, currently not a charge. They do have some things on the menu for a charge, um, but if you have early or late dining, you have to wait until 7.30, I believe it is, to check in for those options. Um, so if you want to take advantage of those free things, do that. Um, we normally eat in the main dining room on the first night, but decided might as well go ahead and get into these specialty dining restaurants while we're on board. Um, and I do believe Carnival has changed it up to where, hello. Can we have two more glasses for water, please? Uh, there's one more, he's coming. Thank you. Yeah. And I do think that they're currently only, only allowing you to go to each specialty dining once during your cruise. And if you come back a second time, there is a charge. But I'll verify that because I'm sure I'm going to want to come back here. So I'll let you guys know for sure. Oh, DJQ is good. He's good. Everything in Shebang is pretty good. Just a uh, word of caution is that everything is a little salty. Not necessarily bad, not like overly salted, but a little bit more salt than I would want. So I feel like it doesn't have as much flavor, but it has a lot of salt. But also something to know is that you can order as much as you want from the menu. Don't feel like you have to order one appetizer, one entree, one dessert. Order what you want. I had two appetizers. No, I take that back. I had three appetizers. <laughs> <laughs> Because I, I had the uh, spring rolls, I had the tacos, huh? and something else, and then and then I had the kung pao chicken. Also, you have to ask for rice as a side; it does not naturally come with rice. Uh, but it's all good; like it tastes good, just a little bit saltier than I would like, um, but not bad. So, just sitting here, finished up. We're gonna get some dessert and figure out what we're gonna get into. But Chebang, definitely check it out. Alright, 
gonna press my luck just a little bit, not much. Just a little bit. All right, guys. So it's been a day. We are headed to the spa. Um, we have the spa pass for the entire cruise, the thermal uh, pass. So we are off to do that. And I can promise you that after that, I'm going to bed. Right. So <laughs> let me close this out today, tonight, right now, because that'll be it. So off to the spa <laughs> and tomorrow is a sea day. So join us tomorrow. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.